Happy holidays and welcome to the Temptations of Troy. We're on the 22nd day of Advent with the brew dog calendar. I did a little costume change because I recorded the, them on the same day. So now I'll know that this one is the, the next day. So, you know, tricks of the trade. 22, let's see what's behind door number 22. The box is getting pretty flimsy now with all these open. Oh. This one's another IPA, and it's a combination of Elvis Juice and the Jackhammer, I guess? Greatest Hits compilation is what it says. It's a 6.8, so it's a stronger beer. Um, it's a Ruthless Grapefruit IPA, so I'm guessing it's going to be like um the Elvis juice which was a nice beer and somewhat like the jackhammer which i did not enjoy um and said i would rather eat grapefruit or a full citrus fruit peel like eat the peels off of it but hopefully this is tamed down a bit um but yeah i guess we'll have to see you later all right so spoiler alert i'm uh, gonna say something now that uh will ruin my sort of ranking or my highlights at the end but this beer actually combines probably my favorite beer out of the box and my least favorite beer out of the box i know it almost it almost seems like brew dog runs out of ideas they just want to like combine things but i'm hoping that maybe this will meet in the middle it'll be you know one that i won't hate like like the jackhammer but it you know, hopefully we'll be pleasing like Elvis Juice was. So let's get it in the can and see what the taste of it brings. Am I going to be on board or I'm just going to think this is another eh, thing that doesn't go together. It has a weird taste, or not taste, it has a weird smell. Getting my senses mixed mixed up now. Okay, I'm gonna eat my words. That's actually a pretty nice beer. I don't know, there's like a little bit of, there's obviously some fruit in it. It's almost a bit of maltiness, which I didn't really expect. But it does have a bitter finish, but the bitter finish isn't like overpowering like it was with the jackhammer. I wouldn't say, I mean, it's the funny thing is it's it probably, it's probably in the middle. Don't love it. Don't hate it. It's, it's okay. So the Elvis hammer, you know, it's decent, but I mean... Why didn't they put like a red ale or like just or a scotch ale or so something a little bit different in the box? Why did they have to like smash two IPAs together? You know, that's is is it asking for too much to put a little more variety? But anyways, I'll quit my moaning and I'll drink my beer. Cheers. <laughs>